Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Back with another episode of Death Mark. Um, we are about to read the the stinky diary journal thing. I pulled the red notebook out of the bag I left on the floor. The flower and tallow smell flower assaults my nose. I feel like my olfactory senses are shriveling. They, they probably are. What a vulgar stench. I recognize this from when we filmed on K... Ni the whole road smelled like that? Miyamachi North Road. It was only a brief whiff of it, so I thought I imagined the smell. Perhaps that's when I received it. So you're saying the ghost smells like this? Yasuoka scowls at the notebook. If she's right, then this notebook could be connected to the spirit somehow. Inside is the contents of a woman's diary. It almost seems like it was soaked in a pool of perfume. Ew, that's nasty. Stains and discoloration make most of the pages unreadable, but the last page seems clean enough. The date is from half a month ago. Hmm. I should probably check what that's about. Oh, please no. I don't like the screen. Bye. I am noping out. Oh, as a little side note, I don't know if you guys will actually hear this because my microphone typically doesn't pick up on this, but if you hear like smacking noises, because my parents are eating crabs and we do it the Asian way where if it's too hard for you to bite, you take a spoon and try to smash it. So that's what you're hearing. <laughs> as I awaited the fate, or as I await the fated day, I recall my days as a teacher. Oh, oh, that, it, did it say sensei at the end? The children called me Miss Zhu? Or is it Zol? How am I supposed to pronounce this? The English way or the Japanese way? Zhu, the keeper of the animals. Probably because I kept so many laboratory animals in the science lab. Like you kept them there or you were just put in charge of them. It's that same door! I got to be surrounded by my beloved animals, my cute little snakes. It was so much more fulfilling than my current boring research. But because of that foolish principal in the fire, the school was shut- Oh, so you're the same as Hanahiko, I think? My paradise was stolen from me. I need to take back my paradise. So I have to go back to that school? There are two- Oh, that's why there were snakes up in the third floor! The great Asura has bestowed upon me the wisdom I need to do that. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, I will die. By the great Asura's abundant mercy, I will be reborn as Miss Zhu. So I may rebuild my paradise again. It is all as the great Asura has said. Oh, great Asura. Asura, 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 Asura. How many times are you going to say Asura? And why the hell are you- Why are there two ghosts in this school? Jesus Christ, what happened in this school? The rest of the page is filled with Asura. Did she lose her sanity right while writing it? The tr traces of kiss marks cover the names. There's only one name. That combined with the choking perfume. The heavy weight of lust is overwhelming. The dark passions in this notebook. Thoroughly disgusting. I'd love to burn it to ash immediately. I would too. So this Miss Zhu who wrote this, could she be the woman from the rumors? If she works in a lab, then we, that would explain the white robe. But I wonder which school she was talking about. She said it was her paradise. Do you have any ideas? Is it? It's H Elementary, right? Yes, I agree. 
It's the only abandoned school in this area that hasn't been torn down. It may be the paradise she wrote of. <sighs> if what the diary says is true, then the woman died after she wrote it. This great Asura would have guided her transformation into Ms. Zhu. I can't believe a human would choose to become a spirit of their own free will. Is that really possible? She seemed fairly confident that she would be reborn, and the notebook being in the shelter might serve as supporting evidence. Perhaps she meant it as a farewell to her life as a human. How sentimental. Miss Zhu. So, is she the one that gave Madame Yasuoka and I our marks? That's where we found the diary, so the spirit must know the place. It would make sense that it comes and goes from there then, for whatever reason. It looks like we know where we mu must go next. Time to go to H Elementary! I... I honestly would rather have the idol- Ah, oh, Mary's not here for me! To Who do I talk to? Mary's not there. Mary isn't here anymore. I can't talk to Mary anymore. What the hell? What is this bullshit? What? Did she tell us? Yeah, she told us she was the fortune teller. Ay, they have course. Oh, never mind. From the angle I read it, I saw confirm as costumes. I don't know why I got really excited, but I got really excited that I could change their costumes even though I don't look at them half the time. But whatever. I'd rather have the upbeat idol on my side. I don't know if she's gonna be useful. But hey. Oh, you singing now? Maybe I shouldn't have brought her. Ever since we left, Ai has been humming and waving her hands in the passenger seat. I mean, she is an idol. She gotta practice. She seems like she has no idea what thing, uh, about what things we're going to see, and that worries me. Oh, sorry. Am I distracting you from driving? Not really. Are you trying to learn some choreography? Yeah, it's so hard. Mind if I vent a little, Mr. Cuzzle? She turns towards me, hopefully. Am I getting some kind of insider scoop? P was like, we're doing a new song and changed the set list a week out. Oh, a set list is a list of songs we perform at a show. So now we have to rush to learn the moves for this whole new song. I'm at a point where I'm dancing even while eating. Isn't that horrible? Uh, yeah, it is. About half of that flew over my head, but it's obvious that she's busy. But I know why P's in such a rush. Idol groups need a lot of exposure during their debut to make it really big. That's why P's so desperate to promote us everywhere. But I lowers her voice. For this to happen at such an important time? Next week is when we debut the new song. We'll make it in time, won't we? Well, if I don't make it tonight, you did. What do you mean? I mean, um, will everything get better by then? All this mark and spirit stuff? Well, if we screw up, you dead tonight. Or this to tomorrow morning? You're, you're gonna be dead soon. Gosh damn airplane. Flying to LAX? No one knows. After all, there's no way of knowing if we'll live through tomorrow. No one knows what will happen. But, don't ever lose hope. That's the shining fist of justice, or the shining fist of justice will destroy the evil lurking in the dark. Right? Um, are those lyrics? It's from our debut song. That's our most popular one. It's okay. I'll do my best. If I lose here, then it would mean love and hero only singing lies. She gives an energetic bow to her invisible fans. The horns from her costume strike my forehead dead on. Ow! Oh, I'm so, so, so sorry! 
we almost died before the mark got us because of you. I and I arrive at H Elementary, this cursed place again. I don't want to be here. Hanahiko, help me. Whoa. This place looks more haunted than I expected. We should have filmed here. So, what do we do? I explain about the last time I was here. Only a quick rundown, but it should be enough for her to understand. There isn't much left to investigate on the first floor. We need to check out the second floor. Okay, time to go up then. Alright, let's get going! Oh, I pushed the wrong button. I got to save. Hey, the roses from Hanahiko are still here. Okay, so it's the same. Oh, wrong button. I can't. Fuck, I forgot. Mm, that way. I don't remember how to get places. I've spent a lot of time here, and I actually liked it here because it was easier to tell apart than the forest. But now I can't tell shit. Because now there are flowers everywhere. Not that that is necessarily Hanahiko's fault. But. I should have checked for talismans. Yo, I return to the landing with a cracked mirror. I stare into the mirror recalling how I felt back then. I quickly look away. I shine my light up at the ceiling instead. That's where Moe was caught. But there's nothing there anymore. There's no traces of the rose vines or the guard's corpse. What's up? No, it's nothing. I just wanted to check something out. Spirits can do a lot of weird things, but they really but can they really make corpses disappear? That would be ridiculous. I mean, you've seen a lot of shit, so feel it. I watch as me worriedly, but nothing happens. I can still do stuff. Take this red notebook. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we go... Can we not go up? Oh, did I go to the wrong stairwell? I tried to press the wrong button. I want you to go up the stairwell, please. Do I have to go to the other stairwell? Because there used to be an option to... There you go, just press forward. Poisonous snakes cover the hallway. It'd be foolish to try to keep going. S -s snakes? Don't shout. I slap my hand over Ai's mouth. We can't move forward. The only thing worse would be making noise and calling something here. It'll be fine if we leave quick, quietly. And also quickly. I cautiously take a step backward. Suddenly the snake reacts to my bag. What the? The snake f flipped their tongues in the air trying to smell something. After a moment, they began to leave. They disappear into the darkness of the hall before I can even blink. They vanish without a sound, all at once, as if they'd never been here to begin with. Huh? Why? I don't know. It looked like the snakes were sniffing my bag. The red notebook is inside. Maybe this smell made them think we were friends. Let's try going down the hall. I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, yeah? Let's both do our best. <sighs> do I, I don't have the keys anymore, huh? The window is busted. Just... Stick your arm in and unlock it. What is this? The second floor isn't covered in roses like the first. There's no movement and I don't see any plants. I guess that phenomenon didn't happen on this floor. Well, I guess Hanahiko only haunted the first floor. I just fucking walked past that door. A piano plays somewhere. Right next to you. That was 
a piano, right? I still my breath and strain to hear any noises, but it doesn't seem like anyone's here. Oh. She picks up something off the ground. It's a piece of sheet music. Got sheet music. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. It looks like piano sheet music. Oh, that takes me back. I played this song when I was a kid. You play piano? Uh, well, kind of. I am a singer, after all. Oh, yeah. I know that. Well, I'll count on you if we need that. Okay, I got this. Oh, but we can't get in. What the hell is this? Looks like this looks like things like bulletin boards used to be on the wall, but they were all taken down. Gotta check everything. I can't save. But I can save here. Why why can't I save in certain areas and can I Wait a second, I'm gonna go back. And now the classroom. Oh, there you go. I can go in this classroom. I don't want to be in this classroom, but I can. I look out at the schoolyard through the window, but I don't see anything moving around. I mean, that's good? The blackboard is covered in dents and scratches. It's probably too damaged to use. What would you use it for? Third grade classroom. I need to go backwards. And now I'm gonna go in this room. It's an abandoned desk. It's a desk like you'd find at any school. What's surprising is it doesn't look very weathered. Feel it. I try feeling around inside the desk and find something soft. It's a wadded up piece of paper. I open it to see several sentences. It seems to be something someone failed to destroy. Fragment S. Am I going to find a lot of fragments? One of the fixtures holding the lights is broken. Probably shouldn't risk walking under it. Hmm. Smart. Make sure I... No, I already checked the lights. Okay, that should be good. What? This... School is small enough that you only have one room per grade. I mean, this town? The bare floor causes our steps to echo as we walk. We need to make sure the spirits don't hear us. I'm sure they can smell you. What? A jumble of wires are wrapped around the door handle. This door appears to be locked by a wire stuck in the keyhole. Feel it. Pull on the wire, but it won't move. It's been carefully and tightly wound. Plus, it's pretty thick. It'll be impossible to cut it. Do I have something that can disintegrate metal? No, we do not. We have blub kiss. Cold wind blows from the broken window. I slide the broken window open and the trapped paper falls out. I did not know there was paper in there. Hey, a talisman! More soul power! That I am going to instantly lose because I don't know how to answer all these ghosties questions. How big is this floor? Oh, this is the last room. Never mind. <laughs> oh, maybe the music room isn't locked anymore after we played the- I mean heard the piano bit, but whatever. I can't hear any man-made sounds coming in through the window. Only leaves rustling in the wind. Oh, what's this? It doesn't look like the fluorescent light is broken, but it stays dark. And go to the room on the left. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have come in this room. Maybe. Something is scrawled on the blackboard. I? Zen? It looks like the letters spell out Aizen. There are more after that, but they aren't legible. Hmm. 
I don't know. That handwriting is terrible. Okay, why are you critiquing the ghost? Maybe the ghost will be offended and come get you anyway. A plant in the flower pot has bolted. Next to the plant is a plaque with the child's name inscribed on it. I can see something stuck underneath the pot. Feel it. I lift it up and uncover a dirty piece of paper. I found a worn out talisman. Muso power! Is that all? Do you guys say anything else about it? Oh, nope. That's all she says. Flecks of red are all over the floor. They smell like iron. Oh my god, is it blood? Maybe it's blood. It is blood. Sixth grade classroom. You guys fucked up. You guys have a murderer amongst your mists. Or, you know, just a vampire. Same thing. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this room. <laughs> Long desk and what look like sinks loom in the darkness of the classroom. It seems to be... Is this the science lab? S still, I grimaces. It really stinks in here. I feel like I'm gonna suffocate. It's an irritating stench that stings the eyes. The putrid smell fills the whole room like a box of onions has gone rotten. Onions are bad enough because they attack your eyes normally anyway. Even so, it's not like we could just leave. Come back with a gas mask. Let's get this done quickly so we can move on. No, we're gonna linger because I don't have smell of vision. There's a talisman on the dusty sink. Yay, so power! The desk is scorched. There seems there are more fire damage in here than in the staff room. This is probably where the fire started. Okay, but I don't think the ghost itself started the fire because she seemed to actually like it here. So maybe one of the kids was an asshole and just arsonist? Open the door and left the science lab. You, don't you dare fucking move. I'll get to you when I get to you. Look at it. It looks antique. The edges of the cupboard are rounded off. Feel it. The cabinet door opens easily. The inside is completely full to bursting with something. I pull it out and discover that it's a garbage bag full of shredded paper. Got office trash. Uh, are you seriously planning on taking that with you? I mean, not that I care. When I lift the bag up, an unshredded wad of paper falls to the floor at my feet. I open it up and see several complete sentences. Guess they failed to destroy this section. Fragment I. Does it actually say anything? A portion of a memo. Wave can... Control the shock. This creature is that great. This is to keep it locked. Wait a second. No, these are two different parts. I open the cupboard and check inside, but all I find is trash and dust. It's a shelf packed with numerous chemicals. Getting closer, I see some large containers. Oh my lord. I hear I gasp behind me. Hands, ears, eyeballs, body pieces that used to belong to a human are floating in liquid, perfectly preserved. It can't be. There's no way they use these as educational aids. They're extremely fresh for being samples. Probably because they were cut from a living body. But it doesn't seem like they've been that long since any of them were severed. Ugh. Okay, look at them. Great Osara. 
The letters are messy, but legible. Great Asra? Down must mean below where we currently are, so that would be the first floor? Recalling the school's layout, I think there was a similar storage area on the first floor. I'm not sure what it means, but it might be important. I decided to take the tag just in case. Feel them. I know they're not alive anymore, but it takes a measure of courage to search body parts. I stick my hand inside, half closing my eyes and feeling around the shelf. It is something there? Well, yeah. I stop myself from voicing my frustration. I can't make I do something like this. Oui. I search the chemicals, formalin containers, unidentified samples, every nook and cranny. I find a few things I can use. A clear bottle with liquid inside. It has a label with a chemical formula on it. A brown bottle that has an irritating smell. Its label is rotted and unreadable. And finally, a bottle wrapped in foil. It smells faintly of flowers, but it's likely just some kind of chemical as well. Clear bottle, brown bottle, and bottle wrapped in foil. Is that everything? Once I'm done looking around, I stand up. A vinyl bundle in the corner catches my eye. I pick it up and realize it's a tightly wrapped bundle of clothes. A white coat stands out the most. Must be a lab coat. A white lab coat? Well... We are in a science lab. No big surprise to find one here. The rumors about a ghost in white. I and Yasuoka got their marks while filming a TV show about it in Kei Miyamachi. You didn't put the rest there and it confused me. And all the other clothes along with the coat have been folded meticulously. Is it really just coincidence? Other than jars with human body parts, the cabinets has several containers of chemicals. I already have what I wanted from here, so why are you still giving me this option? Yo. It's an elaborate ana uh, anatomical model. Look at him. Oh shit, I didn't think you would actually look at him. Taking a closer look, I notice a huge tear in its mouth. It's making the mouth look better, bigger than it should. It's almost like an arm was forcefully shoved down it and it couldn't handle the strain. Feel it? The mouth might be broken because someone stuck their hand down it. But that means something is hiding either in the mouth or in the torso? Can't you just pull the pieces out? Why would there be an actual cavity back there? I could break it. But then I might break whatever's inside, too. Nothing for it but to stick my hand in. I hesitantly slide my hand into the mouth. Something cylindrical is inside. I grab it and try to pull it out. Ugh! It's a snake! It's a snake head. Roused by the movement, snakes begin pouring out from every crevice. Watch out! Well, duh! I stumble backwards. The snakes slowly retreat back into the model. It seems they live inside it. I bet something's hidden in there. But to get it, I'll have to find a way to pacify the snakes. Okay, okay. Let's not do that ever again. There are materials used in science class. Holy shit, this video is really long. So I will cut this episode here. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!